Hi everybody, this is Jerry, this is Joy. Joy! <laughs> We're here in Louisville, Texas. Guess what? Get another repair done on an RV. I think we spent half our life here in Louisville, Texas. I'm sure Texas they are West. shocked, <laughs> totally shocked. <laughs> but this is on a recall that they've had on this coach, so we had to this bring it This is on our here. other coach. Yeah, I know, the one we're trying to sell right now. But yeah. Anyway, we gotta get it taken care of, so that's why we're here. But today, this is such a shortened version of our usual Sunday devotion. Yeah, because we didn't just want to do nothing. We've missed so many Sundays. I know. And so Jerry has this new thing he likes to do with me in it. So um, I said, well, we can talk in the coach. Oh, look at what, although it doesn't seem to matter. Excuse us. Um, look at how good the light is. I see that. And we didn't turn it on. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice that. We're so advanced. <laughs> it seems to be okay. I don't know how. <laughs> this is not blinding me. The light that's supposed to be shining on us is completely off. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, today I'm going to read our scripture and then George's going to read hers out of the New International Version. This is out of the King James Version, but it's about, uh, I'll read it to you. It's in chapter 13 of Hebrews, verses 5 and 6. Let your conversation be without covetousness, covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Yes, now I've memorized that version and I actually like the King James Version better than the New International. But since we're going to read it out of two versions, and this is the only two we brought. This is the NIV. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said. God has said. Now, this is the part I really love. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? So how come we want to tell him that? Well, <laughs> it's because it's true. Uh, you should not spend your entire life trying to earn money or to gather more money. You know, God has given you ways in order for him to bless you with finances. So that's what you've got to do to re receive the finances. You don't have to toil your, toil your life away, groping all over the place, working yourself to death seven days a week, trying to make money. God has provided that for you. Although you do have to work. You do have to work. That <laughs> There's is another scripture about that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there is such thing as work. You do have to do that. But there is a difference between working six days a week, resting one. Like God worked six days and rested one. Right. And then working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and destroying yeah. your life, destroying your family. Yeah, trying else. to make more and more and more and more money. And really what he's trying to say here is that if you turn yourself over to him, cast all your care upon him, then he cares for you and he will take care of all those cares. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about it. And I realize there's something about things you gotta be concerned about, you know, and you do need to do that. Right. You know? When we first got married, Jerry didn't own his own business yet. He was a pharmacist and he worked for a doctor in a clinic. And Jerry was the pharmacist in the you know how you go see your doctor, then you go down the hall and get your prescriptions? Well, that was where he was. And so we got married and he said, I am going to buy a business. I've always wanted to own my own business. And I said, why are you crazy? Um, I just want to work all week and Friday have my boss bring me a paycheck and then go home for the weekend. <laughs> Jerry said, no, when you own your own business, you make more money, didn't you? That's true. <laughs> it is true. Nothing wrong with that. As long as you do it well. Right. You know, well, yeah. And he had college degree to do it. I had nothing. I never went to college. So I was a secretary. A secretary for oh, doctors and lawyers and Indian chiefs and everything else. So um, I told him. I said, okay. 
We can own our own business, but not going to work on Sundays. You have to promise me we won't work on Sundays. So, did you keep that promise? I did. Pretty much. We were closed on Saturdays and Sundays. I mean, you know. They always worked on Saturdays. Um, but not in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, that kind of happened when we started the medical equipment business, I think. Right. But it, it got so we, we worked every day. It, it was really pretty rough but we always always kept Sunday for going to church so at least in the morning we always went to church and that's not even why we're here to tell you anything no. the reason I'm here to tell you anything is because I haven't slept for three nights two nights now, one needs, night I hardly slept at all Joy needs this. the next night I didn't sleep at all I was awake till 4 a.m. worrying about this trip mostly because this this um, RV was empty completely totally empty it was parked in our barn. It didn't have anything in the fridge. It, the bed wasn't made. It was just bare. And I laid awake all night long thinking, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to make the bed. We're, we're gonna have to have towels. We're gonna have to have soap. We're gonna have to have something in the refrigerator. Oh no, the refrigerator hadn't been turned on. Oh my goodness. And I, all night long, my brain went like this. <laughs> and so I told Sherry, I said, I need this scripture. And when he looked it up, he said, you're the one that needs this scripture. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, hello, that's why I chose it. So I do have uh, an inability to uh, cast my care sometimes, that's for sure. And so he hits the pillow, he's asleep. I listen to him sleep most of the night. <laughs> well, I worry about everything. I uh, know, it just <laughs> boggles my mind. I mean, it's like, <laughs> why do you worry about I all know. this stuff? God is in control of all this stuff, you know. It's taken care he of. He worries too. I'll tell you in the instance. I don't really worry. When we went to Missouri, we stayed at a park, an RV park there, with our new RV, our new old RV. Yeah. Not this one. And the lawnmower man came around one morning and he threw a rock and hit the side of our Dutch Star. And did he make a dent? What of those dents? Dent and a uh, big chip in the paint. Fairly well, good sized chip in the paint. I thought he was going to die over it. He was <laughs> so upset. Could he sleep? Yeah. But until he went to sleep, that's all I heard about. That's all I heard about. Well, we should have told him not to mow the lawn. I we shouldn't have let that happen. I can't believe it. So it's just here's the deal. He worries to death in the daytime, and I worry to death in the night. I wasn't night. worried about it. He just upset <laughs> He was me. mad. Yeah, because it costs a lot of money to fix a door like that. And I'm like, don't enough. even fix it, so. Well, that's the difference between Joy and I. <laughs> Joy and me. <laughs> yeah, I concern myself with stuff like that. He is buy a these things. perfectionist. You don't buy these things for nothing. They cost a lot of money, and they're great. I'd like to take care of it, you know, and not mess it up. I've never been a person to put up with damaged stuff. I go fix it, whatever it is, I fix it. That's just the way I am. But when I sell it, it's in perfect condition. And so was the Lord with us that morning. There's the question. He was. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He was. So that we may boldly say when someone throws a rock at your car or your RV, you thank me that it didn't hurt you. Well, That's I didn't go out and shoot. My interpretation. I didn't go out and shoot the lawnmower, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> You wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. Yeah. Anyway, no, that's enough of that. Oh. Well, the point is, listen to the scriptures and apply them to your everyday life because let me tell you, you are going to need them. We need them every day, all the time. There's a lot of good scriptures about. There's another one in there that says, cast your care on the Lord for he cares for you. Yeah. So... You want to say anything else before we shut down this Sunday the Holy, sermon? The Holy Spirit <laughs> often reminds me of don't make other things in your life your God. In other words, don't make your motorhome your God. If it gets damaged, it gets damaged. It can be fixed. It's not something to lose your cool over. You know, but you do get upset about stuff like that. But it's not your God. That's you know, that's that's, that's what right. the Holy Spirit says. That's to right, you. that's right. You know, the things you own are just things you but, have. 
I do think that the things that God has blessed us with, whatever it is, you need to, um, you need to take care of them and appreciate them. And, um, you know, not just let them get ruined and That's wait right. for God to give you another one when he already gave you one and you didn't but take care of it. Don't lose any sleep over it. It can all be fixed. It's, yeah. God provides the money to fix it. God provides the people to fix it, whatever. The Holy Spirit keeps saying to me, don't make things like that your God and get totally consumed in it. Right. Which you can't. Well, and that's what the scripture was anyway, about today. That's what the scripture was about yeah. today. So all right, well, we're gonna run here. Yeah, we're up to eleven minutes, <laughs> and so we better shut this down. But we are in our Ventana L E. You've you've seen it. It was our second coach and you've seen all of everything in it no sewing machine no projects no anything we're only supposed to be here one day so we'll see how that works out <laughs> it'll be yeah. the first time <laughs> you know anybody that wants a perfect coach this is the one. Oh, it is yeah, it yeah, is it's great coach all anyway. right okay we love y'all we'll be back next sunday and do it right hopefully <laughs> really i'll have a great week and god bless you bye for now bye